Welcome back. We're here looking at the energy market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, May 23rd, 2022. If you like support the channel, you would hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And if you want to see my portfolio and all my trades, then the link is also down below. So let's go and look at the WTI oil. And as you can see, we did open here. Uh, this is basically on Sunday uh, or the Monday session, and it basically gapped down. So market is uh, dropping at this point, and uh, that is kind of also expected as we are uh, creating this channel here uh, for the WTI oil. So we have been going down, up, and kind of focusing in on this channel. So around to a hundred and two dollars per barrel that is kind of where we'll find a major um, major support at this current stage if this channel holds uh, breaking below here then we have these uh, bottoms that we have to test then this uh, 98 and 95 roughly 93 and after that down to the worst the 200 moving average which is moving in this pace here so that basically means that roughly uh, $89 if we break to the downside. If we break to the upside, then we have this top here, which is roughly $116. And then the highs here that we need to break out. Breaking above here, then we are looking at significantly higher levels than roughly $150, probably all the way up to $200. Uh, if this continues, um, Yes, that is probably where we're going to, but there are things that are working against the value of of oil, and that is basically the demand in the world economy. So supply is short at this point, at, as it is for every single commodity that is out there, but there is going to be a lot of demand destruction due to inflation, and, uh, and the world economy will get uh, be hit, and therefore demand destruction will definitely uh, make this fall. You can just go back to uh, the Great Recession back in 2008 and you basically saw this market rally all the way up towards $137 and dropping towards uh, $32. So even though this has been very impressive uh, momentum to the upside, it can just completely fall apart when demand uh, changes. If you look at MACD, it is uh, still bullish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at natural gas, and natural gas is uh, just continuing going higher. We are we have been rallying and then finding support at the 20 simple moving average, rallying, finding support near the 50 moving average, and that's how we have been going since well, basically the uh, mid-March. And uh, as long as this continues, then we're going higher and higher. We're at the time of year where um, demand should be falling off a cliff, but uh, the price is not um, changing. Um, so it's, as long as that is the case, uh, buying the dip, that has been working here for the uh, middle of the bullish band and also the 50 moving average. Break it below the 50, then that kind of opens up the door to uh, these two tops here, which is roughly at the 6.3, uh, give or take. That's also where we found major support back here in the 10th of May. To the upside, it is the highs here of roughly $9, and uh, breaking above that, then it could lead to 9.5 and significantly higher. If this holds and we enter uh, enter colder period, basically all the way down towards uh, October and November, then we may see this spike significantly higher. If you look at MACD, it is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.